Okie dokie. In this problem, they provide us with the differential equation y prime is equal to t plus y. Keep in mind, this will tell us the slope at whatever t and y value we plug in. So at whichever ordered pair we want to know the slope for, we will plug it into y prime and y prime will tell us the slope. They also provide us with the initial condition, 0, 2. Okay, so with both of these, we are to find a solution to the differential equation, starting with that initial condition. So we just want to make sure first that um, the correct answer starts at 0, 2. But I want to say all of them will always start at the correct initial condition, so it doesn't really help us. However, let's plug in 0, 2, y prime. So if we plug in 0 for t and 2 for y, that should, more importantly, tell us the slope at the initial condition. So if we know that at 0, 2, the y prime value is positive 2, we should have a positive slope at the start. So when we look at something like option 2, this has a very negative slope off the start, so we can eliminate option 2. When we look at the rest of them, they all kind of look positive. However, there's something important to mention about number 4. When we look at this, you know, from a broad standpoint, it looks like it has a positive slope. However, right at the start, right here, it actually is a very flat slope, but positive 2 should be a very steep slope right at the start. And so this has more of a zero slope, so we can eliminate this one based on that as well. So then the question is between 1 and 3, which one has a slope of 2 right off the start? Hopefully you would naturally pick the one that's more steep, um, but if not, we can kind of calculate something nicely, and that is because we recognize that 3 is a linear function, it's just a, a graph of a line, that means that its slope is constant the entire time. And so if we just find the slope from this point to this point, rise over run would be rise 1, run 1. So rise over run would be 1 over 1, which is 1. So what that's telling us is that the slope of this segment is just 1. But if the slope is the same the entire time, then that means the slope right at the start is also 1. But we don't want that. We want the slope to be 2 right at the start. So it kind of solidifies that number 1 should be our answer here because it is a very steep slope, and we know the slope cannot be 1 like it is in 3. So by process of elimination, we see that 1, or A, is our answer. Let's go ahead and do the last two examples in the same video just to knock them out. We have y prime and we have uh, the initial condition, 0, negative 2. So again, all of these start at 0, negative 2, so no tricks there. Uh, but let's, again, plug in t and y respectively to calculate y prime. When we do this, we get y prime is negative 2. This tells us the slope right at the start should be negative 2. All right, so by process of elimination, this slope is positive. That's out of there. 3 has a positive slope at the start. That's out of here. 4, very similar to the last one, has a flat slope or a zero slope. So that's out of here. So the only one with a negative slope off the start is number 2. And 2 is our answer. All right, one more. This is a fun one. It just says that y prime is equal to 3. So there's nowhere to plug in any values. But what it does tell us is that the y prime, or the slope, is consistent or is constant the entire time. So looking at these graphs, which one even has a slope of 3 the entire time? 1 has a slope of 0, so that's out of here. 2 might <clears throat> excuse me, might start with a slope of 3 because it starts positive, but it's changing constantly. So if y prime is meant to be 3 the whole time, but this one's changing, that's not a constant 3 the whole time. And then 4 starts off negative and stays negative the whole time. So 4 is off the table. So then 
Option three is the only one that has a constant slope, and that is a fairly steep line representing a slope of three the entire time. So three is our best answer here. If you have any questions, please let me know. Hope this makes some sense.